Hi, Bookish Besties. My name is Brittany. This is Rescues and Breeds. Thank you so much for joining me here today. If you are new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. And if you are already subscribed, as always, I appreciate your continued support. Thank you for returning to another video. Today, I'm here to determine whether or not I can trust Sarah from Sarah's Nightstand. I am so excited to be doing this collaboration, y'all. I have mentioned Sarah multiple times on my channel. I have been following her on booktube since I want to say about 2017. And since then, we've become in real life friends. I actually got a chance to meet with her back in 2022 when I was in the DC area. We hung out, we ate food, we went book shopping. It was phenomenal. And I'm so blessed to have her as a friend in my life. And she is currently undergoing her next military move. Her husband is in the military and it is time to move on to their next destination. And she was in need of some videos to film to kind of prepare for a time when she was going to probably be a little bit MIA and unable to film. And so I jumped at the chance to do a collaboration with her. Now I feel like Sarah and I are pretty in sync a lot of the times with our bookish tastes. We both read very, very widely. And a lot of the times our thoughts and opinions on books are not super varied. You know, maybe they're like a star rating off or something like that. But there are times when she absolutely loves a book that I hated and vice versa. So we came up with this idea where we were going to recommend three books from each other's to be read shelves that we loved dearly and that we want the other person to read to see basically if our tastes are going to align with these books. And so we have both made our selections. We didn't tell each other what they were ahead of time. So this is also going to be like a reaction video. I am going to play the video that Sarah filmed recommending the books to me. I'm going to be seeing this for the first time just as y'all are. Now each video is going to contain three main selections. And if I have maybe read one of these books since she filmed the video, there were also two backup selections as well. So I will go ahead and play the full video so we can see all of her selections and why she made them for me. Over the next couple of months, I'm going to be reading the three main selections and we're going to see if I can trust Sarah and her recommendations. So without further ado, let me go ahead and get up the video that she filmed and we'll see what she selected for me. Hey, Brittany, I am so excited to get you to read these books. Okay, I took quite a bit of time to try to figure out what I wanted to force you to read. Let's be real, I'm forcing you. Now, these are books that... I have given all of them five stars, <laughs> every single one. And some of these are favorites from these authors and I've read multiple books by these authors already. So, okay, uh, I'm so excited. All right, the first one, when I was going through your Goodreads, this is the one where I said out loud, I said, she hasn't read that yet? Okay, <laughs> so this is number one. And that is The Dream Daughter by Diane Chamberlain. I still think about this book. This book is so good. It is one that really makes you think, it makes you think about what you would do in the situation. There's time travel, there's a big event, there is just, you know, morally is this okay? What do we think about it? Um, advancements that our world has made is, you know, a heavy thing in here as well. And it's so good. <laughs> It is so good. This is definitely my favorite book of hers and I've read a few. So I really, really hope that you love this one as much as I did. Guys, I am so excited about this recommendation. And I feel like it comes at a really interesting time too, because I recently filmed an underrated books video and a Diane Chamberlain was featured in that video. It was Big Lies in a Small Town. I have now read, I think, three Diane Chamberlains and I have adored absolutely every single one of them. Diane Chamberlain is a phenomenal author. And so I ended up adding a lot of her previous books onto my TBR. And I know that Sarah absolutely loved The Dream Daughter. And so that really makes me even further excited to read it. I'm going to quickly pull up this book on Goodreads and read you a synopsis of this. It says, when Caroline Sears receives the news that her unborn baby girl has a heart defect, she is devastated. It is 1970 and there seems to be little that can be done, but her brother-in-law, a physicist, tells her that perhaps there is. Hunter appeared in their lives just a few years before and his appearance was as mysterious as his past. With no family, no friends, and a background shrouded in secrets, Hunter embraced the Sears family and never looked back. Now Hunter is telling her that something can be done about her baby's heart, something that will shatter every preconceived notion that Caroline has, something that will require a kind of strength and courage that Caroline never knew existed. Something that will mean a mind-bending leap of faith on Caroline's part. A rich, genre-spanning, breathtaking novel about one mother's quest to save her child, unite her family, and believe in the unbelievable. Diane Chamberlain pushes the boundaries of faith and science to deliver a novel that you will never forget. I am so beyond excited. I cannot wait to read this one. So Sarah, this was an excellent choice. Okay, number two. This is a book that I recently read, very, very recently, and absolutely loved. And that is Bright Young Women by Jessica Knoll. And I was really shocked at how much I loved this one because I had tried to read one of her previous books and I DNF'd it. So I wasn't sure about this one, but this one was 
fantastic. The amount of research that probably went into this was really, really good because this is very much inspired by what Ted Bundy did at FSU. However, it's not Ted Bundy. Um, he's not even named actually, and it focuses on his victims more than anything and what they went through and what they went through as far as the survivors of that night, what they went through and continue to go through throughout their lives. And just the things that were happening in here were so very, very almost to the T and close to what actually happened. I was really impressed with that. And to have that kind of level of detail about the actual crimes, but have the focus be on the victims instead of the perpetrator, it was brilliant to me. So I really hope that you like this one. So funny story because Sarah actually mentioned this in her video. I was not originally going to add this to my TBR. I was very hesitant because I had never read anything by Jessica Knowles before and the other couple of books that she has out have very low ratings on Goodreads. So I never had any interest in trying her. But then this book came out and I was really intrigued because like she says, this is kind of based around what Ted Bundy did, but he's never actually named in the story, but it's very much kind of focused on the victims of his crimes. And I absolutely loved the idea of that. And it had been getting such rave reviews. A lot of people who read this really, really loved it. And so I wanted to read it as well. This is actually one of the more recent things that I put on my TBR and it's one of her more recent reads as well. So I'm very, very excited to get to this one. All right, on to the third main pick. Okay, and finally, I wanted to give you a series finisher because I know that series is a big thing for you and this one will help you finish a series. So I want to recommend my favorite. <laughs> our favorite, Abby Jimenez, uh, Life's Too Short. So this will help you finish the uh, Friend Zone series. And I, again, recently read this one as well and absolutely loved it because Abby can do no wrong. I think we both know that. So I wanted to give you something light and fun for the summer and uh, something that will be quick and that you're definitely going to enjoy and it will help you finish the series. Sarah, you have completely knocked it out of the park with these recommendations because this is actually on my TBR for the year because it's going to satisfy a buzzword challenge. And yes, you are correct. Abby Jimenez is one of my favorite romance authors of all time. I was not 100% in love with her newest release, but I have given every single other one of her books 4.5 or 5 stars. And I have a feeling I'm going to do that with this one as well because I have absolutely adored the Friend Zone series. And like you said, finishing series is a big thing for me. I will be very happy to get to this one. So this this was an excellent selection. Okay, so I will for sure be reading all three of those because I have not read them, but I wanna go ahead and see what her two backup selections are because she could convince me to go ahead and add those onto my TBR as well. Okay, just in case you read any of those, here is my backup. So here's my number one backup, Wonderland by Jennifer Hillier. I, I don't know that I have the popular opinion on this one, to be honest with you, but I absolutely loved this. I thought it was fantastic. And the setting is great being set at a carnival. And there are definitely some, you know, crazy intense scenes in here and creepy, creepy and corruption and all sorts of stuff. Like a lot of things going on behind the scenes. I loved it. I thought it was a great time. And so I hope you do too. Okay, and this one... <sighs> I saved it for last because I know that you were planning at least to read another book by this author and I didn't want to give you both of her books at the same time because she's only written two. But when I saw that you had held up her other one, I was like, oh, I was going to pick that. And I went, oh, no, I wasn't going to pick that one. I was going to pick the other one because this one I liked a tiny smidge better, just a smidge, like this much better. Um, but that's Drowning by T.J. Newman. So if, if you do end up reading Falling First and you loved it, this one, oh, this one is so good. And 100% just unputdownable. I, I was just, I felt anxious the entire time because I had to know what was happening. And like you read it in one sitting because you don't want to put it down. It is so good. And the audiobook is phenomenal phenomenal. So this would be my other recommendation. Whether you've read Falling or not, maybe, maybe you read it and loved it and you want to read this one really soon, then here you go.
Okay, those are my picks for you, Brittany. I really, really hope that you enjoy them and I cannot wait to hear your thoughts along the way. Okay, Sarah, you absolutely knocked it out of the park. So I love Jennifer Hillier. I will absolutely love to get to Wonderland if I can. And I did read Falling. I read Falling for the Amazing Readathon. So that was one of the books that I submitted for a sightseeing prompt and I did really enjoy it. And I'm perfectly willing to read more from her. So these picks were phenomenal. I'm excited about absolutely every single one of them. I will be for sure getting to the main three within the next couple of months. And I'm excited to bring y'all my wrap-up video for that to see if I loved these books just as much as Sarah did. If you have read any of the books that Sarah has recommended to me, please comment down below and let me know your thoughts. I would love to know. <laughs> friends. I am the worst collaborator in the world because out of habit I went straight into my normal closing and completely forgot to remind you to go check out Sarah's channel and the video that she is going to post with my recommendations to her. I will be sure to leave the link to that video in the description box down below after it has been posted but in the meantime I will leave her channel down below so that you can go check her out. And as always if you like this video or if you just like me please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I typically post two videos a week one on Wednesdays one on Sundays and I would love to connect with you in any of those future videos or on any of my other social media platforms, which you can always find linked down below along with any books that I might talk about in a video. Until next time, y'all. Bye.